Hi, my name is Robin Moffat and I'm a developer advocate with Confluence. Today I want to show you a quick tip with KSQL DB where you can use it to re-serialize data you've got in the Kafka topic. So Kafka topics are just key value bytes. It's up to the producer how it serializes that data. And common ways of doing that are JSON, JSON schema, protoboff, Avro, and so on. So let's say you've got some data in a Kafka topic. You can say show topics. This is in KSQL DB command prompt. We say we've got a topic here called uh, orders flat. I can say print orders flat, limit five, just consume from that topic. And what KSQL DB will do, it will guess at the serialization format and it will show it to you. So it's here, okay, the value format looks like it's Avro. Avro is a very sensible format to use because it stores the schema in the schema registry, which means that anyone who wants to use that data can pull down the schema from the schema registry. A much less optimal serialization method is CSV, comma separated values. And this is not so great because you don't know what the fields are and kind of like commas get awkward if you have them in the tied values. And it's just a fairly messy way to handle data. But in the real world, people still use it. So let's not be elitist about this. Let's see how you can actually convert that data from Avro into CSV. So what we're going to do is we've got our Kafka topic here. And as it happens, we've already got a stream defined against it. So orders flat is our uh, show streams. My uh, muscle memory is not working. Here we go. Our uh, streams orders flat sits on top of this Kafka topic called orders flat. We could create that stream if we wanted to from scratch because it's an Avro. So again, good reason for using Avro. We'd say create stream orders flat using that Kafka topic. But with that stream, we can then say uh, select star from orders flat, emit changes, and now you can see the different fields within that data. So you've got the order timestamp, the order ID, and so on. So we've got our stream of data, and what we can do is we can say that select star, write it out to a new stream. So we can say uh, create stream new as select star from here. And now all I'm doing is I'm populating a new stream with that select star. So as a new message arrives in the source, it writes it out to that other one. But so far, we've not changed the serialization. If I say show sure, streams, we can see we've got one called orders flat, which is built on that Kafka topic called orders flat, which is in Avro. And we've got new, which is backed by a Kafka topic called new, which is in Avro. If I say print the topic called new, limit five, just showing the first five messages, you can see it's in Avro. So what we're gonna do this time is, we're gonna clear the screen, and we're gonna say create a new stream, and we'll call it uh, orders flat CSV as select star from orders flat, but we're gonna use the with clause. So create stream orders flat, uh, let's put this over a few lines, with, and we can say value format. So you have value format and you have key format. Value format is the format that we're gonna use for serializing the value past the message. Key format is the format we use for serializing the key. So value format is gonna be delimited. And we're gonna change the Kafka topic name because we can. Kafka topic, and let's call this orders, uh, orders CSV. Um, and we could change the partitioning if we wanted to. Let's get partitions equals uh, four. And so create stream with our settings. And then we say as select star from orders flat. And we could apply a predicate at this point, like orders flat, but just for this particular type of item or any other predicates that we wanted to. But we're going to use the select star, everything on that source topic, right over to that target topic. Okay, so we've done that. And now if I say show streams, you'll see we've got uh, orders flat as our original, and we've got orders flat CSV is now delimited format. And if we go to our topics, show topics, we've got orders uh, flat, we've got orders CSV, and we can say print orders CSV limit five. And you can see here the value format, it says it's a string, and the value is just a string with a bunch of commas in between. So we can change the serialization method. Let me show you how simple it would be to do it using JSON. So we've got the data in uh, Avro. Let's say actually we'd rather have it in JSON. And we'll put it into a different topic. So orders JSON. And you can't use a stream name that's the same. So we'll change that. Okay, so uh, print 
orders JSON topics. This is consuming from that topic, limit five. And now we've got data that is JSON. So you can change the serialization from a source down to something different. And taking it from Avro to CSV is honestly of limited use because CSV is a really suboptimal format for exchanging data. If you've got a system downstream that wants to consume CSV data, much better would be to tell that system downstream, well, hook into this Kafka topic directly and deserialize that Avro. Here's the schema registry. You could put a REST API in front of it with the REST proxy, but there's much better ways of like landing something onto CSV and then something else reading that CSV. You make very brittle pipelines that way, but it's possible if you really want to. Let me show you another thing that you can do. If you've got data in CSV, and this is a much better use of this re-serialization method. If you've got data that's in CSV format, you can re-serialize it using KSQL DB into Avro which means that you can take CSV data that some poor soul has created and given you, you can apply a schema to it, serialize it into Avro, and now anyone else can use that data in Avro format instead of CSV. So you take the pain of adding a schema in once, and then anyone else can use that data, and it's got the schema applied to it already. So let me show you what that looks like. We're gonna do the same thing in reverse. We're gonna pre pretend that we don't have this orders data already in Avro format. So we're going to say print, or say show topics. And we say, oh, we've got this topic here called orders CSV. Oh no, how terrible, it's CSV data. What are we going to do with this? So forget that we've got the other data that's actually already exists in Avro format. So we'll say print orders CSV. And as we work this through, you can see why CSV is such a suboptimal uh, format for serializing data because now we've got a bunch of comma separated values and we look at this, it's like, well, that number there, it looks like a big number. Um, maybe it's an epoch, but maybe it's actually just like a serial code or any other big number. We don't even have headers in there if it's just like a lump of CSV values, but we know actually what it is. So we're gonna uh, get on with things. So now we say create stream and we'll say this like orders CSV ingest. And now we need to declare our schema. So if you're ingesting data in CSV with uh, CSV format or JSON indeed, because JSON doesn't also have an explicit schema either, you need to declare the schema when you create the stream. So here we're not doing create stream as select. We're not selecting from an existing stream. Here we're kind of like registering a stream, declaring a stream on top of data in a Kafka topic. So create stream order CSV ingest. And so the first field is our uh, timestamp and it's a varchar and the next one is our timestamp epoch and it's a big int and the next one is I think it was the order ID and again this is why CSV sucks because now we have to go back to the team who wrote that data and we say well what are these different fields and are there any missing are they defaults and what are the data types and so on so order ID we think is a big int and then we've got item ID which is a varchar and then we've got something else we've got an address a street which is a voucher and we've got a address city which is a voucher and we've got an address state which is also a voucher so we define the schema and then we say create stream here with kafka topic equals uh, order csv so this is the topic from which we're reading the value format the format in which the data is serialized is unfortunately delimited and I'll stop being rude about CSV sometime. Actually, I probably won't, but I should stop being rude about it because people do use it and people make these choices for different reasons and KSQL DB gives us the tools with which to work with it. So let's leave it at that. So value format is delimited. We could change the delimiter if we needed to. So if it was tab separated or any other kind of separated, uh, you can change that if you need to, but by default, it's comma. So we go and create that and it says you can't do that because the address state what we've done, we've missed a comma. And you can't do that because you can't spell varchar. And we've got varchar, varchar here. Okay, so we've created a stream. So if I now say describe stream, describe order CSV ingest, it says you've got a stream that sits on top of that Kafka topic, that CSV Kafka topic. Forget all of the other stuff that we can like built into this where we had Avro up front. Imagine we started with a clean slate and just a CSV topic in Kafka. 
So the first step is we declare a stream on top of it. We say, here is the schema which we apply to that topic. And if all goes well, we should be able to select star from that stream. Emit changes, show me the data as it changes. Just show me the first couple and we should get data. If we get nulls or if we get nothing, it means we've done something wrong in our schema declaration. It means we've got no data coming into it, which is what it looks like is happening here. So what are we going to do about that? Let's, uh, let's set the offset back to the earliest. Let's try that again. Okay, we've still not got no data. So something's going wrong here. So this was not scripted, as you can tell. So now let's go and have a look. Then what we need to do now is you need to go and look at the server log for KSQL DB server to see why it can't read the data. So something is tripping it up, something's stopping it, deserializing it. It could be I've got a data type wrong. If I've told it it's an int and it's trying to put a, a string into it or something like that. So I'm using Docker, so I'm going to say Docker logs KSQL DB. And this goes through all this and it will scroll through because it's gone from the beginning. And if we look at this, so it's 10.22, we can see here uh, deserialization, column count mismatch. Okay, so I've got my declaration wrong. So I'm, I didn't know what I was looking for here. So I've basically gone to the bottom of the log and just paused it. And because there's new data arriving in that topic, it's trying to deserialize each message. So it's a fair guess that the error or the warning that we're seeing at the bottom of the log here relates to what we're trying to do here. If there were lots of streams running, I'd need to be a bit more precise about this. But we can see here, um, skipping a record due to deserialization error. The topic is order CSV. Um, the partition is number three, the offset is that. So you can actually use that information with like Kafka cat to go and pinpoint the exact message. But you can also see here the column count mismatch. So it's uh, order CSV. We expected seven columns and we got eight. So I've got something wrong. So let's cancel that and close that. And let's go back and look and check our data. So what we do is we're going to say uh, describe. We need to print, print the topic to start with. So what does our data look like? We've got our value, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fields. Okay, we've got eight fields there. And that's what that message said. It's kind of, we defined seven and we got eight. So now we need to go and check our declaration of that schema. So here we said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we missed something. So let us drop that stream. And we're not actually deleting anything when we drop this stream because this stream at the moment is just declared on top of it. So drop that stream and then I'm going to create it again. So create that stream and the field that we missed, item ID, was the uh, unit count, wasn't it? Unit count, and I think that was quite an int. So we go and create that stream. And now when we say select from here, we get some data. Ta-da, just like that. So if you get problems when you're selecting from a topic, uh, from a stream, and you think there should be data that you're not getting any, go and check the key SQL DB server log, and it'll tell you if it's having trouble deserializing the data. Is it Avro data that you've told it was JSON? Is it CSV data that you've said was CSV, but you missed a number of columns from it? And again, that's why using data without an explicit schema, like CSV, like JSON, is not such a great idea, because it makes things more difficult like in the big picture, it's a bad idea, but also for like you day to day as a developer, it's a bit of a faff, it's a bit of a pain because you have to go and type in all the column names and you miss one out and things don't quite work. If you're using Avro, let me just show you here. So show topics. We've got a topic here that's called orders. We say print orders, limit one. It says, okay, it's in Avro. I say create stream orders Avro ingest as, uh, not, I don't even need as, with Kafka topic equals that and the value format equals Avro and that's all I need to do and I say describe describe how does Avro ingest and it says there's the schema and it got the schema from the schema registry automatically if that schema changes it will pull it down when I create that stream again it'll pull it down automatically but anyway I've got off topic a little bit here haven't I so we've got our stream that we created Orders CSV ingest. So let's recap. Kafka topic, CSV data, bit of a shame, but we're stuck with it. We can take that 
and we've declared ourselves a stream that looks like this. And it's got the schema in it. It's got the right number of fields this time. And we did a select from it and we showed that there's data coming through and there aren't any nulls and it kind of it works. Having declared that schema, we can now serialize that data to a better format. We can say we're going to write this back onto a new Kafka topic using a format like Avro, like Protobuf, like JSON schema, which means that anyone else who wants to use that data, whether another KSQL DB user, whether Kafka Connect, whether just a consumer API and like a different application, they can pull that data down from the topic and deserialize it using the schema registry. They don't have to go and type all the different columns in. And this is how we do it. We say create stream um, CSV reserialized. I'm running out of useful names here with value format equals Let's just put it in Avro this time, but we could put protobuf or JSON schema um, and as select star from order CSV ingest. So now show streams. We've got one here called CSV reserialized. You can see it's in Avro. So if we see that and we can say print that topic. So you've got that, C, that, sorry, that CSV data that's been, uh, that came in from the source. It's been re-serialized out into Avro, and now we can consume from it here. So if I uh, cancel that and just do limit five, you can see here it says that it's Avro. So show topics, this topic here, CSV re-serialized, that topic there, any other application can use to now get that data as it arrives basically in our original CSV topic. So the CSV topic comes in, we re, we've applied the schema to it once in case equal DB, we re-serialize it onto Avro or Protobuf or whatever we want to use, a new topic. Now any other multiple consumers can use that same data, but they have the schema available to them. So that was somewhat of a tangent and a bit of a kind of a, a rambling diatribe about the kind of the perils of CSV. But using case equal DB, you can re-serialize your data to get it into the serialization format that you want or that you perhaps deserve if you're going to use something useful with schemas like Avro, Protobuf, JSON schema. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned. Leave a comment in the section. Tell me what you think about CSV. Tell me if you think I'm uh, completely wrong about it. It's always fun to hear that. And stay tuned for lots more videos all about Apache Kafka, Confluent Cloud and Confluent Platform.